Good morning. Oh dear. Six in the morning, eh? Well, I'm not yet dead. And welcome back to Spectacle Island. It's, uh, it's a little bit misty. So, uh, yeah. What have we done since last time? Uh, I finished off the harvest. I have fed the animals all but the cows most as I could. I have... Um, better tidy up, they don't have to make a mess overnight. Um, I have... Um, what? Uh, I've started to slow the field that we'd harvested. Um, I think that... is that it? Is that all I did? Not all I did, it's quite a lot. But yeah, unfortunately I started slowly and then we... well, digestate spread. And then we ran out. So, um, I need to, uh, I need to, to go refill it, we'll finish that off. Um, and uh, we run out of corn, I, I hadn't realised I have no corn for the pigs. So, uh, definitely, probably not this field that I'm about to reseed, but, um, because the seed is already, I, I left the seeder down there, so, um, but next field, uh, we harvest, uh, we'll do corn, in fact, we'll probably do corn in the next two fields. Um, to uh, to give us a bit of supply. I think otherwise we're all right. I've entered the combine. That's back where it should be. Um, didn't do that very well, did I? Um, yeah. So today, what should we do this morning uh, after we've cleaned up the animals? Which actually I should have done this off screen, but never mind. Because um, we did this last time. They don't off make some mess. So we'll go give the cows some TMR. I'm slightly confused and I don't remember, but there's TMR and there's power food in the silo. Well, there's no power food in the silo, but there is TMR. I think TMR and power food are one and the same. Um, so we'll test that theory now because I've no power food, but I have plenty of TMR. I was beginning to think I might have to get a feed mixer and, uh, and do all that, but no, should be okay. So we'll, um, we'll give the cows some of that. Other than that, I did stock. I did stock up the animals. Um, yeah, corn actually suddenly getting desperate as is power food. Um, everything else isn't too bad though. Actually, it's amazing how much they've eaten overnight. But standard game, um, seventeen uh, food lasts for six days, so we've got plenty of time. But that corn is getting a bit critical. Actually, we might even need to buy pig food. Uh, or maybe we'll see if we can identify a field over at uh, CDP Farm that's got corn in it. Of course, we missed one already, but maybe we'll try another one. See if there's another field with corn, and if there is, we'll buy it. Why am I... I think I'm unloading as I pick up, but not successfully, into the feeder. So we'll just quickly get this done, sort out the animals, a bit of off-field stuff. We've got to go over and uh, seed uh, the field at CDP Farm. Uh, and uh, I say we'll finish doing the digest date on uh, field, is it field 14? Um, we've got to check on the progress of field 15. And uh, with a bit of luck, we'll get a chance to, uh, to do some wood. I I've been talking for ages about, oh, they make it, and they bloody make more mess. It's so messy. Um, yeah, we'll talk about doing cutting some trees down. So we'll do that. And actually, I think already we're at a point with just a few more trees. We're probably at a point where we could start ploughing that field. And I said I'll do it in strips. Uh, what was after? Oh yes. God, this mist effect is really good. Well, we are on an island, out by the sea. See what I mean? Power food. Total mixed ration. I don't get it. I have no idea how much we need. Let's try that. So yeah, so we'll just uh, we'll just put this in the feed trough. 
There we go. Where is it? Not in the wrong place. So it was it was power food, and of course, as it as it does always on seventeen, it's also putting it's overfilling silage and hay. But in total, it wasn't enough because, and I forgot this. When you put in power food, it, it to an extent it, it demixes it a little bit, which I find a bit confusing. Um, it's always it's always done it on seventeen, and I had forgotten. There we go. Uh, yeah, so you sort of lose some of it. So it's never as much as you think it should be. Or, you know, you always need more than you think. Oh, well, let me, I'm going to check how much I've actually got this one. We can check in a minute. I think I'll need to start thinking about doing um, doing another mix, and uh, we ought to start thinking about some silage actually as well. We shall see. There we go. I'm going to leave that there. We'll take a quick run over to the tanker, get some digestate in it. There's the water, the water thing, but the water's all right. I, I did the water uh, since I started playing again, so that's okay. Um, yeah, because I was talking about this in the last video. So we've got this sort of cliff top thing with a little bridge over the top. Got a water, you know, uh, uh, a wash bay there. And uh, there's our fertilizer spreader that we might need at some point. And here, so I was talking about this. This is the, uh, the magic of the tanker that uh, tells you what's in it. I love this. It's actually already got a fair amount in, in it. Should just be able to fill up. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unload it and I'll show you, just in case you're not familiar. It's only a 40,000 litre tank. I think it was the biggest, possibly, or maybe there were bigger ones, I don't know. But you see, you got that, and then you put that in it, and if you put in water, you get that. And if you put in, I don't know what else, I'm not going to more. But yeah, so whatever you put in it, it changes. I think it's a brilliant idea. Anyway, uh, so what we want is this. May as well fill it. No point in not. Oh, oh, 13,000, okay. Oh wow, okay, 13,000, oops. Right, so quickly, I'm at, literally I've got a strip or two to do, so we might as well go do that. And, uh, and finish that off. And actually we can get a worker, well, actually we, oh, I suppose we should seed it too, we might as well. I mean, the seed is right there. Oh, I still need to sell the eggs. How many crazy eggs have we got? Whoa! Old school, old school eggs. I mean sell them, the ones in my backpack will have gone off by now, they've been sat in there for so long. Well, since I uh, since I last played FS17, I mean, how long ago was that? Well, since I last played Spectacle Island on FS17, I did pick up some relatively recently, but at the same time, a cunt. I did, I did. It was it was in equal parts. Uh, it is in equal parts. It's funny and interesting and uh, exasperating at the same time. The egg hunt that you have to do around um, around the chickens when the eggs. How many have you got in the backpack now? I need to figure out where to sell eggs. I can't remember, and it's not marked on the map. Mm, we'll need to head over to the ship. 102. <clears throat> but yes, I've got them all out of the coop anyway, so that's something. Ooh, look, canola's coming on. That'll be ready to harvest soon. I think I had to be like 10 litres left or something, so there was a bit left in there. As you can see, tiny little patch, it's literally going to take us a minute to do that. I can't remember. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, I can't remember. Not going to take very long to empty because, of course, it's not going to fill it up. 
and then we're out of digestate. Bit of a snag. How are we doing for slurry? Have we got any in the silo? No. Um, how are we doing for slurry with the animals? Where am I seeing that? Yep. Oh, okay. 40,000 litres at the cows and 30, 33,000 litres at the pigs. And between them we've got uh, over 60,000 litres of manure. So actually we're, we're all right. It's not, it's not too bad. We've got, we've got options. <coughs> but yeah, at some point, could do an omega grass or, uh, or, or chaff harvest. Uh, chucking the bunker silo down the biogas plant. Actually, I think, no, I'm fine. I've just remembered. There is more, so we'll need to take the tanker down the biogas plant at some point. There is more it, uh, in the digestate tank of the biogas plant. I just need to bring it over. That's that's what I'd forgotten. So actually, no, we're fine. But equally, uh, we do need some silage, so we could still do some form of, to make sure I'm the right jobby, there we go. So yeah, should just be two strips. So may as well just get this done, finished. Oh no, gone the wrong way, sorry. The, uh, the, the tracks from the truck confused me. There we go. And while we're here, it seems daft not to get the cedar started. We'll do a couple of headlands at the bottom. Should be all right. Or we could just leave him to it, actually, because technically when you're seeding, you should do headlands afterwards. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll do a couple of headlands. Uh, sorry. So we'll get him going. And then we'll uh, we'll come and tidy up later. And we'll head over to CDP farm. There we go. Clear the field a bit. Crikey, if anything, this mist is getting thicker. The morning sea mist. I'll leave that there, just out of the way, verge of the road. I'll take the lights off though. There's not a lot of traffic coming through here, it's fine. And right, what are we going to put in here then? So we did. What have we got? We've got uh, wheat in field 13, barley in field 15, which is good, so I'll get straw. We've got canola in field 11. Hmm. We just had soybeans in it. We should have sunflowers actually, but again, let's do, let's do canola, it's fine. Um, we've not in the silo. I say, I don't know what it's about these buttons. I seem very sensitive. Right. Yep. Okay. Right. I'm going to do this first edge strip here because I've parked the truck quite close. So we'll just get that done and then we'll leave work to it, see what he does and then I'll come and fill in the gaps later. Hopefully, this should be enough seed and fertiliser in here to do this field, I hope. Should be okay. I'm not 100% sure which way the field's going. It was, it's slightly sort of cockeyed, this one. Oh, sorry, that was wrong. Um, yeah, I'm having real issues with the sensitivity of the controls. They seem much more sensitive than on 19, which is really weird. Actually, that looks pretty good. There we go. He seems to think it's bright enough. Personally, I could do it a bit more light, but there you go. It's fine. Ooh. Weird. I managed to open the thing. Oh, well, never mind. It's not raining. It's all right. 
Okay, I'll, um, I'll head on over to CDP Farm and I'll see you there. Alright, okay, so, there we go. Uh, just popped over here. That's actually fairly full, but we might as well fill it up. There we go. So this is, and I was just having a look through to see what I got and what power needs they had. Actually, that's the key thing. So the problem is that the, um, I think I mentioned this before, the what was the Platinum Edition equipment? So the two star attractors, one's 105, one's 180. But of the two pieces of equipment I've got, the SLAs, which technically is a cultivator, but to cultivate you can put a seed box on the back and you can seed with it. It's slightly wider, so I thought we'd use this one. I haven't used it for a while. Um, needs 220 horsepower. This one only needs 108, so I could have used that, to be fair. But I thought we'd go with this one. I've got options of wheat or barley. Fine. Oh. Oh. oh I forgot about that. Um, yeah. I walked in the back way. Right. Okay, so we've got plans to go and sell some sugar cane, clearly. Um, ah, yes. We'll just get them out of the way for now. See if we've got time to do that, otherwise we'll do it on the next video. I'd forgotten I'd filled that up. Luckily we've not any rain since. Um, though it's a bit cloudy. Oh no, we've got sun coming, it's fine. It'll, uh, the sun will burn, burn through the sort of mist and fog. In the midst, it's, li it's lifted actually, it's better than it was. But yeah, so actually, so sugarcane prices, that's interesting. Where have we got good sugarcane price? 320 at the cargo ship and rising. Ah, okay, and that's a good place to go sell eggs. So let's keep an eye on that. If that tops out, we might do that then. If not, we'll wait for it to top out and uh, we'll go cut some trees. How's our field doing? Yep, yeah, it's doing all right. Actually, that'll need fertilization as well, so we need to get the sprayer out, do that. Yeah, I've had a quick look. Unfortunately, all of the fields that are on this island that I don't own have been cleared. So, no, no quick, easy way for me to get corn, which is a shame. I panicked for a minute, wondering whether or not that would actually get through the gap in the hedge, but we're okay. Hedge collisions. I can't stand hedge collisions. Uh, right. Cool, so I'll do a little bit of this. Uh, probably should have put the harvester away. I really need a shed somewhere for those, somewhere near the fields. It's a, just such, they're so slow. It's a pain to take them back all the time to the, uh, to the yard. <clears throat> Not sure why I ended up doing that sort of skew line when I seeded this field last time. Maybe I just did it with a worker and that's the line of the field. Actually, possibly, that could be it. Burning through the seed a little bit. But you know, 4.9 metres. This is quite a powerful track so far. I remember, if you remember, um, I mentioned that I'd uh, I bought this stayer, 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 because um, I needed a bigger, more powerful tractor for this field, uh, for this farm rather, um, to make up for the fact that the ones that came with platinum pack were not particularly uh, powerful, and um, and I picked this one because I, I could get a good colour combination of white and orange with it, and. Um, yeah, that harvest is going to be in the way, so I could at least do with moving it. Oh, seriously, every, does it every time. It's way more sensitive than 19. Just put that there. I will actually need to move it, and I should lower that really. Um, I will need to move it anyway because it'll need to be down at the other field. Because uh, I can use two, two, um, two harvesters on the bigger field. 
uh, it's what I've got too. Missed a little spot, it's fine. But yeah, so I, 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 I coloured this tractor um, to match, and I, it looks good. It's a nice tractor, actually. Take a little shot, screenshot. Lovely. I didn't do that line particularly well, did I? Oh well. But yeah, so just waiting to see what um, what happens with uh, Jim's. Oh, have I just managed to hire a worker? Yeah, I did. Oh well, we'll watch him for a minute. Um, yeah, I just uh, yeah, wait to see what happens with Jim's um, uh, efforts to bring this into 19. I'll have to look at the model model list and see if it's been submitted yet. Um, in fact, I haven't been on this Discord for a while, so I should go and have a look and see. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking more and more that I might just move over to the 19 version when it comes out. It, it, it's an incredible coincidence that as soon as I started playing this, um, Jim, just, Jim announced that he was going to uh, going to bring it to 19. Yeah, it's fine. And I, I just think it'll be an interesting comparison, right? An interesting thing to do to uh, to play it on 17 set it back up exactly the same, take it straight over to uh, to 19. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's not something, I mean, you could do it, there's quite a few maps that have come from 17 to 19, but, um, you know, it's not something I've done before, jump from, from one to the other. I, I mean, obviously, because I've not played 17 for a while, I was always hoping that Altenstein would come out to 19, but it didn't. Um, but, um, all South Mountain Cream were actually, I love both those maps and I love this map too. I mean, that's the thing, there were some great maps on 17. There were some great maps on 19. If a little too many, it gets a little confusing. Um, but, uh, is he going to drive off the cliff? No, okay. Um, so yeah, so we'll, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm thinking I might do that. I think that might be fun. I'm also thinking I might start doing, um, mind you, by the time this comes out, I might already have done and put, started putting it out. But yeah, I'm, I might, I will play um, Erlen Grat. I think I did a little bit on it yesterday uh, just to try it out. But yeah, as, you, as I said, depending on the order I release these, that might have already been on the channel by now. But uh, yeah, I had a little go on it last night. It was fun. So uh, I think doing a straight gameplay, I think it'll be uh, it'll be fun to do. I was just, I think things where I. Although time-lapse videos in principle are easy to do because I don't have to find the time to have a quiet house, he's going to get stuck, so I may as well just kill him off anyway. Um, yeah, I don't need to find the time to have a quiet house to record. I can record any time. I can record as much or as little as I can do, and then I just patch it all together. Um, they are, to be fair, not the sort of videos that I would watch. I, d I don't watch time-lapse. Some people do. Some people... Chainsaw 100. Wow, I mean, he just does time lapse and uh, and and yeah, his views are ridiculously high. Um, so some people do like watching time lapse. Some people don't. I know that for a fact. Um, I personally prefer not time lapse. Um, dependent, right? And so part of the reason I started doing Six Ashes was because I narrated over the top, and that I don't. That's okay to me because actually. I don't, when I'm watching YouTube videos, um, I don't just sit and watch them, I, I, I listen to them more often than not and watch a little bit while I'm doing other things. Um, and so, stra oh, I just did a strip, oh, you idiot, I just did a strip and forgot to switch it back on again. Right, can I do this without falling off the edge? Yeah, it's fine. So that's just a cultivated strip, not a seeded strip. Sorry, folks, not concentrating at all. Um, but yeah, so um, 
Yeah, so that's thing. So I like to listen to something. So anything that's just straight time lapse with uh, subtitles or something, which I've also done in the past, um, I actually I, I I tend not to watch because I have to find the time to just sit and watch it. Otherwise, it's a bit pointless. Uh, whereas something where someone's narrating, I can be doing other things. And if if you know, just keep an eye on the screen. And if they say, "Oh, here's what you're doing this," blah, blah, blah oh yeah, okay, yeah, we're doing that. Um, so uh, so yeah, so. Uh, which is what I was doing with Alan Grat. It was just, wasn't. I mean, I, it was just straight gameplay. I wasn't even putting subtitles on or anything. It wasn't particularly popular, um, and and yeah. Although it was easy for me to to um, to record. Uh, editing is always a bit of a pain for time lapse stuff, um, and uh, not quite as complex as Six Ashes, but complex enough. Um, and I just, yeah, I wasn't, I say I wasn't getting many views, but I'll, I'd, I do want to play it, I'd, I'd start, it's not a, a map that I would, we're going to run out of seed already, oh, um, it's not a map I'd play forever and ever, anyway, um, but I just want to do Europe a bit with Seasons on, just to see, oh, I've <laughs> just run out, just for the end, okay, fine, right, I will run back, to um, enough of my inane drivel, I'll run back to the yard, refill it. Could do the seed tank then to go with this because that really is poor capacity. And uh, yeah, we'll refill it. I'll bring it back, get a work on it, and uh, we'll go see what else there is to do. You know what, actually, given that we know that the sell point's going to be the cargo ship and that price is still going up and pretty fast, actually, then uh, I thought I might as well drive it a little bit closer rather than just leaving it up at uh, CDP Farm. So I'm going to drive it, park it down here, and uh, just leave it there. That'll do. Again, it's quite road. It's not a problem. It's not in the way. It's fine. In actual fact, we could go across the, water, the, 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 the the pedestrian bridge. We will drive that at some point because it's just awesome. And if you've not seen it before, you've got to see it. And I'm assuming it will be uh, the same or similar on um, on the 19 version. <laughs> but yeah, got to walk across the rope bridge. I've got sheds here. I have to say, I don't. Whoa! Don't walk off the edge. That I don't really use. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, need to remember that they're there if ever I need more storage. Right, let's head down to uh, to the field where we're cutting some trees down. We'll do a few trees. All right, okay, let's get into the harvester. So you can see sort of the edge of the field as it's cut is just there. And you can see already that I've only taken a couple of three trees out, but you know, we've already got this sort of patch, so if I clear out this patch, then actually we've already got a, a, a part of a field, not a massive part of a field, but a part of a field probably worth, sorry, probably worth using. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll just finish cutting these out. Hang on, let's get it lined up nicely. And so this was my technique that I used. Oh, of course, the tractor's uh, busy. And probably just about to go wrong again. I've had to restart the worker. Um, yeah, so this was my technique for uh, clearing mass trees in a shorter time as possible. But what I used to do was do one meter cuts. And actually, two meter cuts are quite effective. If you get it lined up right, come on. There we go, that's better. So yeah, so I just fill up a trailer, pull the logs without trying to lose any once it starts getting juddery, you stop filling it. 
feel it can't cope. And I'm actually hoping, actually, because uh, I used to say I used to do it one meter lengths. But I'm now trying it with twos. And to be fair, should mean, of course, with a two meter length, you should be able to get more in it before it starts glitching and uh, getting a bit haywire. Um, because, you know, you've got less moving elements, if you like, in, um, in the trailer. So yeah, so we'll just continue along the field. I may not get around to filling up the trailer and going to uh, taking it to the shipper today. We'll see. Much I could always take the first one, I suppose. And actually, could do is sell in some wood chips because I'm pretty sure we got a shed load. There we go. Right, so bring it up and around. So, you know, it's uh, it's repetitive but therapeutic. Doesn't take long. We'll ignore the ones at the end for now because we'll be going up and down this way. Um, you know, because obviously the length you take the length of the field. So for right now, that doesn't matter. We'll just focus on the ones that are actually in the field boundary. And uh, and yeah, so yeah, we'll just clear this this strip up to that the edge of those trees there. So it's what? So it's only one. Maybe two more trees. And I've got everything I need down here. So we've got the... Um, uh, ooh, 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 that's pushing it a little bit. Yeah, no, that's no good. The slight snag of two metre lengths is um, your sheer inability to throw them into the trailer properly if they don't make it. So let's uh, just, there we go, extend a little bit. That's better. Um, yeah, so a couple of trees actually. Might be slightly longer video as a result, but you know what? Let's do it, get it done. Uh, let's see then. I think all of those ones, mind you, actually. Oh, hang on. Where's the field boundary? Yeah, okay, no, it's quite... Oh, wow, where is the field boundary? Oh, very long way. Okay, no, fine, then we won't. Okay, then that'll be... Maybe I'll do some more off of the screen. And try and clear this first bit so that by next time we are, you know, at a point of... Uh, we'll take the stumps out with the stump grinder. And... Um, yeah, so actually this is going to be, even just this bit is going to be a fair bit of field. Yeah, I need to keep on top of all the work, so I'll, 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 I'll do that. Off, the, off screen, I'll, um, I'll do this sort of last half a dozen or so trees. Um, and, uh, I mean, if needs be, I can bring, I've got another one of these trailers, so I can bring, them, bring that one down. We'll do three. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll do these last few trees to get this bit clear, so that next video we can be, uh, <laughs> flip one up. Um, we can be grinding out the stumps and plowing the field. Um, we'll also be needing to uh, check the fields to uh, to do a level of fertilisation, and uh, we can take these to the uh, to the wood chipper. And in the meantime, we'll also um, I'll just take this one out because actually there's quite a row of trees, but for this one, and that'll be our sort of edge then. Um, and uh, and yeah, in the, and while I'm doing this, I can keep an eye on those two pesky workers getting those fields seeded, and we'll see where we get to. But there you go, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, likes and subscriptions are very much appreciated. And um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Uh, that's not right. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye for now.